Hi, I'm Dr. Pei Chen. At Kessler Foundation, we have developed a therapy procedure to treat spatial neglect. We call it the Kessler Foundation Prism Adaptation Treatment, or the KFPAT. In this treatment, patients perform arm movement toward targets while wearing these prism goggles. For patients with left-sided spatial neglect, we use prism lenses thicker on the left side. They shift the entire visual field about 11 degrees to the right. During each treatment session, the patient's motor system and arm movement will adapt to the vision shifted by the prism goggles. What does it mean? Let me show you. Very good. Before Go prism back. adaptation, she okay. can point to the pen straight from Very her good. chest. Go back. Now, the visual field is shifted, but her motor system has not registered this shift. You can see that she does not point straight, but point to the right side of the pen and curves back at the pen. After several trials, she can point straight to the pen without correction. This means that her motor system has adapted to the visual input. Well, this is prism adaptation. All right, let's take the goggle off. Once the goggle is removed, the visual system receives the normal vision again. However, the motor system has not registered this change. Very now you see she does not point straight, but point to the left side of the pen and corrects herself back at the pen. This is called after effect. This prism after effect is what we want to see in patients who neglect the left side. Before the treatment, patients do not move left. After the treatment, they do. In healthy individuals, this after effect disappears very quickly. Now you see she can point straight to the pen. Her visual and motor systems are quickly aligned. However, in patients with spatial neglect, the after effect lasts much longer and transfers to other activities. Most importantly, after a course of 10 sessions or more, symptoms of spatial neglect are reduced. I'm going to show you our therapy protocol. First, in order to measure the after effect precisely, we ask patients to perform pointing tasks before and after the treatment. Close your eyes, please. We examine patients' subjective body midline by asking them to point straight ahead. The other pointing task is visual proprioceptive pointing. The patient cannot see his arm or finger in this task but he is required to point to the target, which is a pen on the other side of the box. Very good, go back to chest. Okay, try it again. Very good. After measuring the pointing performance, we start the prism adaptation procedure. This visual field occluder blocks patients' view of their own arm movement, which enhances the adaptation effect. I'm going to put a goggle on. Mm -hmm. All right. In our protocol, patients will mark the center of a line and cross out a circle. They will do so for 60 times okay. at a center location, left or right location. Here. Most patients can finish it in 10 to 15 minutes. However, if the patient has severe spatial neglect or does not perform the task efficiently, we stop the session once the patient has worn the prism goggle for 20 minutes. Then we remove the goggle and repeat the pointing tasks to measure the after effect. Most of the time, we see immediate shift to the left side such that the patient points more toward the left or even sits up straighter. Just like the tutorial of KFNAP assessment, in the demonstration of KF path therapy you just saw, we use left-sided spatial neglect as an example. 
However, you can use the same principles to treat patients with right-sided spatial neglect. You just have to make sure you use the correct prism goggle. In our KFPAD device kit, we provide both types of prism goggles and detailed instructions. If you'd like to know more about the KFPAD therapy, please contact us. Thank you for watching.